Do you uh okay we are live in New York City? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah! Yeah, man. I mean now you know you guys know there's an election coming up. Biden v Trump. I mean we, we I'm doing very well. Welcome to the New Liberal Round Podcast. Let me ask you, you're from New York City, you live in the city. Do you support Biden or Trump? Young man right here. How is the feeling? How are you doing today, young man? Oh, hi, Greg. Welcome to the Neil Liberal Round Podcast. Welcome to another episode of the Neil Liberal Round Podcast. I'm Ronaldo McKenzie, your creator and host. And we are here live in New York, New York. And we are right here on 125th and Morningside, continuing the other leg of the story, the special production we're doing, looking at the support for presidential candidates, particularly Biden and Trump. And we just finished the Philadelphia leg, looking at support, um, support of African-American or black and brown people towards Trump. And um, it was quite telling. And now we are in New York. We will release the Philadelphia leg and we are doing this story in response to what we're hearing coming out of Chicago. There is a story coming out of Chicago that support among African Americans are growing. But is that true? Is that true? So find so we actually look, we actually did a story in Philadelphia and now we are in New York and we are picking up a particular trend. And we are gonna have that story for you. We're gonna carry some of the interviews, some of the short random conversations we had with various people in New York. Do you support Biden and, um, or Trump? And I, I can't wait for you to uh, dig into it. But we're going to be, we're going to continue. We're going to take you to the street and we're going to interview a few people. And um, and that's why we are here in New York to do two things at the neoliberal, to meet with investors to about promoting the company and investing in the company. And of course, the second thing is to continue this, the second leg of our story, looking at support to, for Trump and Biden in African American communities, especially in cities like New York, Detroit, and Chicago, and Philadelphia. Today, we bring you New York. We'll be right back. Love your look, sir. All right, now tell me, are you going to support Biden or Trump? Never Trump. Never. <laughs> okay, so you're going to be supporting Biden. Why? Yeah, well, because. He's the better person in the race. Yes, he's, yes. You know, it's like, what is? <laughs> <laughs> and are you a Democrat or a Republican? I am what I am. You are what you are. That's good. That's good. I love that. And why are you supporting Biden and not Trump? I'm not supporting Biden and not Trump. Yes. Obvious reasons. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, well, thank you so much. There we have it. Yes, and I appreciate it. You have a good one. Yes. We are in New York City, guys. We are still here um, exploring people's um, support for either Trump or Biden. And I have a young man here. How are you, sir? I'm doing very well. Welcome to the New Liberal Round Podcast. Let me ask you, you're from New York City. You live in the city. Do you support Biden or Trump? Uh, right now, I'm undecided. You're undecided? Why are you undecided? There's convincing arguments from both parties, and my own personal opinions right now have led me to inconclusive thoughts. Yes, so yes. In my own research, I'll like, eventually figure out. You'll figure it out. But both candidates, uh, I don't know. Even though Biden, they said that Trump violated Section 3 of the 14th Amendment and so on, you still undecided as to whether or not you're going to vote for him? Undecided. Okay, undecided. What about, um, are you a Democrat or a Republican? Uh, not sure? Yeah, not sure. And do you plan to vote? Uh, this election yes yes so you will vote but you haven't made up your mind yet all right this is the young people talking here would you like to come on the ground would you like to come on the podcast sir are you voting oh no all right that's fine thank you so much for making the near liberal round podcast all right welcome back we're at the near liberal round podcast we're in new york do you support biden or trump trump why do you support trump because he's the man he's the man yeah do you plan to vote in ele on election day so you will be voting for him for Donald Trump. Absolutely. All right, there we go. We are in New York. We got from one person. Thank you so much. No problem. Take care. Welcome back to the Neil Liberal Round Podcast. And we are in Manhattan. Manhattan, right? Uh, morning, um, Harlem. It's 125th, we're on 125th Street. And this is a young man right here. How is the feeling? Well, how are you doing today, young man? 
All right, great. Welcome to the New Living Room Podcast. We are here in New York asking, looking, asking people what's their support for the towards presidential candidate. Do you support Trump or Biden? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Say it again. You don't support either, but you, I really want to support the Democrat side. So you're more on the Democrat side, but you don't support either. Why you don't support either? <laughs> either of them have benefits. And um, you're a young man. How old are you, if you don't mind me? Are you over 20? Oh, so wait, you're, you're, are you going to vote? You've never voted before. Oh, oh, when you were... Oh, did you vote in the president, the, the, the last general elections? Who you voted for? Okay, you have to tell us. But, you, but you're not sure who you're going to vote for. Okay, you plan to do it again? Because, why? Is it because of your family? <laughs> they want you to vote. Okay, fine, fine. But what about Trump? You don't support Trump? Not really. Not really. All right, all right. Thank you so much. And thank you for making it the, the Neil Liberal Around podcast. I'm Ronaldo McKenzie, and we're going to be talking to some more people right here in New York. We are here in New York, and we're asking various people, black and brown people, and we might ask one or two Caucasians, but more so black and brown people. We're trying to get their support for Biden or Trump this election. Do you support Biden or Trump? Trump. You support Trump. Now, um, um, why do you support Trump? Uh, not because he's the best that he is. I think that he'll make um, money back into the place. You think he'll make money for people? For people, okay. yes. All right. And, um, and people, pe people look at him and they be negative. We already, we got to put the negative. You don't think Biden is, um, is for the regular people? I'm not saying that. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm yeah. not even saying. All I'm saying is like, if it's so negative, yeah, in, in personalities, people it, right? Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I think, like, for for right now, yeah, we need Trump back. All right. Are you gonna? Do you plan to vote? Yeah. This, oh, you you will be voting. Yeah. And um, what about? And are you Democrat or Republican? I'm Democrat. You're Democrat, but you're gonna be voting for Trump. Yes. All right, there we go. We are in New York. Thank you so much mm -hmm. and have a great day. Have a yes. All right, here we go. And we are in New York City. I have an amazing gentleman here with me. And I am going around, we are going around in the Liberal Around podcast asking various people in various cities um, who are they supporting this um, election season. And here we are in New York. Good day, sir. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Right I'm there? doing good. And um, what, uh, no, you don't have to tell us your name. But who I are can. you? You can? can. And what's your name, My sir? My name is Chris. Chris. And Chris, who are, who are, you, who are you supporting this election? Uh, President Biden. Biden? Yes. Okay. Okay. We got two, three Bidens right. so far. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, why are you supporting Biden and not Trump? Because I think he's a good man and I always go with my gut. He's oh. a good person. I don't trust the other one. I forget his name. I don't remember his name right now. Yes. But it's just with a T, I think. <laughs> and um, I don't trust him. There's everything about him my gut tells me no. Yes, 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 yes. And, and with all the troubles that he has, I don't know if I want his troubles coming with us to the White House. And are you going to be voting this election season? I definitely am. Yeah. And um, are you a Democrat or Republican? I'm a Democrat. All right, okay. And don't you, tell anybody. I won't tell anybody. No, okay. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. you um, and the pleasure is mine. Take care, brother. Do you support Biden or Trump? Neither one of them. Neither one of them. Why? Because they're not going to do anything for us. They're not going to do anything Trump for us. Trump is going to do for the rich and the poor is going to get worse. <laughs> and, and Biden yes. cannot control. He cannot control anything. No. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much, Mom. You are amazing. Thank Check you. out the podcast. Here you go. It's going to be on YouTube. Okay. Take care. Thank you. Bye -bye. By the way, let me ask. Are you Democrat or Republican? Democrat. Democrat. Okay, but you think you we should get a you you think that you want a different candidate other than Biden? Yes. Oh, and other than and yes, the world. I mean. And the world. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you so much. We are in New York, New York, getting people's opinion about the presidential candidates. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back. We are we're still here in New York City. I'm looking, I'm exploring support among black and brown people for Trump or Biden. And here we are, gentlemen. How are you, sir? Do you support Biden or Trump? Uh, fuck Biden. <laughs> Trump all day. Uh, okay. We sleeping at that point when Trump was actually running for presidency. Yeah. Uh, a lot of African-Americans, such as myself and Hispanic. Uh, as you can see, you can see our, our, our beautiful black brothers and sisters. You know what I mean? You might not tell the difference. 
pero nosotros hablamos español and we can, you know what I mean? Yeah. We diverse in a whole lot of ways that y'all don't even know. Yes. Trump all day. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's just what we do. All Trump right. Biden, you should've never been there. Get the fuck up out of there. Yes, why do you, why are you gonna vote election day? Oh, yes I am. I never voted, but I am voting for Trump. Oh, I wow. I never voted in my life, but I'm definitely voting for Trump this year. Oh, and why are you voting for Trump? Like I said before, Trump, as soon as he was there in the presidency, he was telling all the truth. He was telling all the truth, and we was doubting him for years. We was doubting him yeah. about all the stuff that he'd been doing in the past and whatnot. But we all woke now. Yeah. We all woke. We were asleep, but we woke now. We know the man right now for us is Trump. All right. Thank you. And you too? Who are you voting for? Trump. I just piggyback on everything he just said. Yes, yes, yes. There we go, guys. We are in um, we are in New York. And 125th. This, 125th. 125th Street. We will continue to interview people to get their opinions. This is the Nearly Boy Run Podcast. We'll be right back. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I gave you my card, right? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, check it. It's going to be on YouTube later this week. We're going to have the Philly one first because we did the same thing in Philly. And then we're going to have the one in New York by Sunday. All right? And they, they are saying the same thing. They are saying the same thing. <laughs> Uh, here we go now let me ask the question so now um we got a call so we had to we we got um distracted a bit now so you're gonna vote for um for biden mm -hmm. because you think trump is uh trump is creates chaos and confusion mm -hmm. and dissension and contention yes. are you a democrat yes okay great and you will be voting this election yes. Yes. great there we go uh, thank you so much for your participation have a good one this is the nearly by round podcast coming to you from new york city do you um okay we are live in new york city yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, now you know you guys know there's an election coming up. B Biden v Trump. I mean, we we interviewed the niggas in Chicago. We interviewed the niggas in Philly. What are the niggas in um in New York in New York saying? And now I tell we are live in New York. That's, in the uh, that's what you say. But look. Yeah. Are I'm you supporting Trump or uh do you support Trump? Trump. Or do you support Biden? Biden, Biden, shot, bro. That Biden, you don't do shit for the people because you ain't give us no stimulus, he nigga. Trump supported this shit, nigga. Trump so make sure we get stimulus. Money. He made sure we got money. money for Trump, oh, nigga. We want to have fun. Thank, thank you for Trump. Biden, I, are you gonna vote for Trump? Hell, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but you support him. Oh, you're not voting, but you support it. gave us some money. All right. Some money, I'm supporting. We fucking. We ain't giving no money. Shot. All right. Straight up. This is the, the Neoliberal Podcast coming to you live from New York Yo, City. Ah. You're right. Okay. Welcome back to the Neoliberal Podcast. And we were in Chicago, we were in Philly, and now we are in New York. Get, finding out from various people randomly their support towards Biden or Trump. Hey, how are you, sir? Yeah, I'm good. Man. Um, quick question Do you support Biden or Trump? Biden. Yeah. Okay, are you going to vote this election? Uh, right. Yes? Yeah. All right, there we go. That's um okay, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yes. Welcome. Um yeah, you can yeah, that's my all my stuff I is on there. Am, and I can look me up. I yeah, man, yeah. I am a Biden. You know what I'm saying? Damn yeah, Trump. You know what I mean? Uh, client. No, I mean, well, yes. No, what about you, sir? Uh, Do you support Biden or Trump? I support Trump, and if it isn't no, for Trump, a, we're no, done. No, no, no. Oh wow! Why no, are you going to vote? Just, I'm listen, voting no matter what. I voted 2016 for Donald Trump for the first time, and I'm voting this second time. See, that's why. Look, look, look at skin. That's why. <laughs> that has nothing to do with it, yeah, man. Yeah. Let's why? Why? Why are you voting for Trump? Well, let's look at the let's look at the the real reasons why. The real reason why I want to vote for Donald Trump is because when he was president first, everything was all right. There was a lot, no problems. We had less immigration. We had a bunch of work, and that's just fact. We're not talking about like fake numbers or nothing. Once Joe Biden got into office, the world went to shit. I'm sorry about my first word, that's but fine. the world went downhill. And now I feel like he's the only savior we have. If it isn't Trump, we're done. Thank you so much. That's just a fact of life. And, um, you know, to each his own. Yeah. Uh, you vote for whoever you want. But just think about America. Think about the importance of us. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's but what about people who say he violated Section 3 of the 14th Amendment and he has made a lot of missteps and so on? What do you, what do you say about that? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I don't know too much about that. I know that, that he did make that mistake. 
But at the same time, who hasn't made mistakes? Okay. So you're willing to look past it and to forgive him and to support Trump because you think that's what the country needs right now? That's what we need. We need somebody strong and we need someone to, to lead us to a different route because the route we're going, we're going downhill, dude. But what about those who say that he is develop, he's implementing extremist policies and he's against black and brown people? What about those who say that? You think that he's against black and brown yes. people? Yes, he is. I... I, I and do you think Joe Biden likes black and brown people? That's a good question. So you don't think, you think they're the same thing? It's the same thing, man. But at the end of the day, we're talking about us as humans. Yes, I don't yes. Think, I don't think him, I don't think he hates people. He right. might have his, have his differences, whatever. Yeah. But I don't think, I think he's here for the people that were born here and were raised here. And he's for about those people. And that's right. why I'm with him. It's Thank all about you. America, bro. It's all about America. And you have the power of choice. It doesn't matter what other people say. You can vote whichever way you choose. Okay, but thank you so much. Thank you so much, yeah, man. man. Donald Trump 2024 all day, every day. <laughs> all if right. We're, picking, we're done. We are in New York. Look, I'm look, and I'm exploring support for presidential. You going to put mine up? Huh? You going to put mine up? Yeah, yeah, it will be up. Not today, but probably later this week. But that's my stuff here. What's and your Instagram? Um, everything is on here But just type my name Instagram You just type my first name Which is Ronaldo McKenzie And it will come up oh, bro, And you will see me I can't wait bro Because I, I wish on my boy We voted for My boy's a Donald Trump fan Like crazy Yeah But he, we know about stuff Because we learn And we, we actually study We're not just little We're not super intellectual But yeah. we know 20% of A little bit You know Alright And we always look into things We watch InfoWars Yes, we're mad into that. Show. Well, it's, check out my podcast too, okay? I'm check because I've been to I, yeah, man. I know a lot. I've been following this for a while. Bro, Thank I'm you. Follow, bro. I appreciate that. Right. YouTube and Apple Podcast. Huh? YouTube. I'm on YouTube as well. Okay. You uh, you're gonna be on YouTube, yes? All right. We are in New York City. Let's get um, a, a young lady. Sorry, an an, an older lady was was responding, talking. Hey, how are you? Um, about support for Trump or Biden. Of course, we find that most of the... Well, actually, we'll see what happens. We are still in We are still in New York, guys. 125th Street. And we have a, a gentleman here. A gentleman. And we want to find out what's your opinion towards um, Biden or Trump. Who are you going to be voting for this election year? Trump. Trump. Oh, why do you support Trump? Well, I like some of his policies. I think that they really are doing a big job to attack him for multiple fronts. Okay. I've never seen any other president go through what's, what he's going through. Yeah. So there, there's a lot of power behind trying to stop a man from not being political. Yeah. I don't think he has regular politics. If okay. he had regular politics, he would obviously have more support across the board. It's just like if individual black man ran in this country, not Obama, because yeah. Obama wasn't black. Okay. He was African and uh, white. He, okay. was, he wasn't a black man that grew up in the inner city. Okay. A black man that grows up in the inner city follows his own agenda. He's only going to get one term and they're probably going to stop it. Yeah. So I, I like Trump. I like what he says about bringing the jobs back to America. I don't think that we should be making everything across seas. I don't think that the border should be open. You know, that's under the Democratic watch. So, so for you, it's not about anything racial. It's about his policies. You prefer his policies over Biden policies. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right, there we are. We are coming to you live from New York, New York. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All so right. Someone is just going to be on the air. And he's just not capable of doing it. Yeah. We've given away all of the industries in the inner city. We can't go past it. Yeah. We can't go past it. About these two you were talking about Biden, and you said what? What well, about Biden? Biden hasn't done a good job for the community. Yeah, his mental faculties are clearly failing. Yeah, he should be representing us on a world world scale to yeah. other nations, and he's just not capable of doing it properly. Yes, we can't send him out here as our representative. Yeah, it's just the wrong move for any nation of people. Yeah, you know, other nations are thriving. Because of the leadership. Yes. Most of us here are struggling. 
because of the leadership. Yeah. We need stronger leadership, and it's not going to be somebody who's moving in political circles. It's yeah. going to be a regular guy like Michael from around the corner that's going to come with a new opinion on how to get these things done. Yeah. We've given away all of the industries in the inner city. We can't go anywhere and make anything. There's no factory right here. This is politics. Yeah. Politics can say we're going to make every broom in this part of Manhattan. Yeah, we're gonna supply all of New York with brooms, and that's gonna provide jobs for that community. Yeah, but they won't do that. They ship all of our jobs overseas, and one of the reasons why I like Trump is because he doesn't want to ship our job overseas. Yeah, he want to make it right here, America. And you don't hear that messaging coming out of the Democrats. It's not forceful from Biden. That's what you're saying. That is correct. Oh wow, yeah, wow, wow. We are talking to the African American, the black and brown people here in the city. We have much more for you on the other side. Ah, thank you. Oh my God, this was deep. Why do you always do that? And not I don't like pictures, Ronaldo. I'm, I'm not, taking not Yeah, yeah, but I don't. I need to. You can't just do this to people, and they need to. If people are all, no, I'm not image. recording it. I am all about my image. Yeah, well, then why is it counting down? What's counting down? Oh, because it's You were speaking so profound earlier, and I didn't get you. On what? About the election and stuff. I oh, always, you so always be talking so after you were, the fact. Yeah, but you're trying. And then when you're ready to interview, you like you don't want to say nothing. I realize that people have a lot more to say when they're not. When once you say, okay, ready, let's go. It's like their brain, they have amnesia. Yeah, because I'm in another <laughs> realm. <laughs> and you're yeah. trying to bring me out. But of when I was interviewing you for the show the other day, you know, when you knew that we were recording, yeah, you were good. But when I was not recording, when you didn't know I'm talking about the programming, you were amazing. Okay. No. You were solid, you knew your stuff. Oh my god. I, I get that all the time, I notice. Once you see the camera start to roll and they are aware that it's rolling, then yes. Because I just walked the streets of New York City. Okay. West 125th Street and I spoke with a few people. Some people support Trump and other people don't support Trump. And but it's what is what is interesting in terms of and I'm talking about black and brown people. Four or five years ago. New Yorkers would support, if New Yorkers support Trump, they wouldn't support him loudly. They would be very quiet about it. They were afraid, because especially you live in a, you live within a context that is predominantly democratic, okay? You couldn't say that you support, you would, or you have to take people to the side and say, hey, and hey, I support Trump. If they do, if they did, for those who did. But they were, it, it wasn't the in thing, it wasn't popular to say you, to support Trump and to say that you support him. You would either say you don't support him and then privately support him, <laughs> okay? Yes. That's not what I'm picking up. That's not what I'm seeing that's happening now. What's happening now is that people are saying people support Trump and are saying that they support Trump. And then in Philadelphia, it's kind of different in Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, there are the people, the black and brown people who say they support him, they're not going to vote for him, okay? But the people who support for him are going to vote. In New York, at the first day when I did this interview, I spoke with three young men who said they were voting. They support Trump, but they're not going to vote. Okay. But then today, when I took to the streets, I interviewed about five or six people. Only one or two persons of the six or seven said they're voting for Biden. And it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. And they say they are going to vote. The men, they say they're going to vote. I'm like, okay. And then some of these men are. But the younger people, they have... Um, they, they might support Trump, but they're not going to vote. But the older people who support Trump, they're going to go. They're going to go vote. It's 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 interesting. The New York situation is quite interesting when you when you compare it against when you Philly and other black cities, Chicago. You know what I mean? It's quite interesting. Well, listen, I've said it before. I am not voting for Donald Trump. I can't vote for someone who are just it's divisive. You cannot be voting for people who are divided. The Martin Luther King Jr. and all of these other civil rights leaders have fought for freedom, freedom to vote, women's rights, and there's so much that has that we've accomplished in this country over the years. Yeah. And I, I mean, how do you go and and vote for someone when they do not support any of those causes? Like you're turning your back on civil rights leaders. I just there are don't people who say that. It. Well, it's not about identity politics. It's, it's not identity. Economics. I'm just. But wait, but it is identity politics. Because your identity is tied to your earnings in this country. What are people talking about? Well, yeah, yeah it, <laughs> but not only that, yeah. it's just you, you of a person, you would not be in the position, you wouldn't be able to vote. I mean, your voice be heard. 
I mean, yeah. people have fought so much for us to be in this position. Um, and for example, if you compare Biden to Trump, everything that I know that Biden does is, is try to to work for the lower, the middle man, the man who's struggling. Everything that he's done in his policies, um, he he has tried to help America universal. Republicans, black, white, Asian, everyone benefits from his policy. He just commuted billions or millions of dollars student loan. I wish they did that for me, um, if you work for the government. Yeah. That is good because guess what? The Congress who should be working for American people but don't do that. They've lost sight of working for the American people. So what and Biden hands are tied. So what he did, he did you know, you watch um Tim Gunn. But that do you watch Tim, Project Runway Tim Gunn? Make no, it work. No. Make it work. You always talk about make it work when they have unconventional challenge where you use garbage containers and garbage can and trash bags to make beautiful gowns. Yeah. This is what Trump, this is what Biden is left with. I am. Not, I have a Congress that's not working. They don't know how to implement policies anymore. He's the type of person who's bipartisan and wants to work together so that we just, I don't think he, he's an old man. Yeah. So why, as a, at his age, why does he need to be part, partisan? He's like, listen, I just want to help America. That's why I came back to this country to help America. Infrastructure Act bridges he just did the student loan he did um he worked with the why car and that, automakers why is it the chip act they just had an industry why is it that people it's not reaching the people aren't hearing this people just know matt why is it that Be, because they muddy the water the news is not reaching Ronaldo, the money the muddy the water people mm. are love salacial juicy news and when you have people feeding the, the narrative, we have social media and in this country, and when you go, the, you, you go online, all you see everywhere is lies and negativity, and Biden is this, and tr you see all of these, so what is going you know, on? People don't they understand that. Flood the news, the people so don't, that people don't know the truth People anymore. don't study economics. What so is true? Man, say, for example, they, one of the guys I spoke with just now said, well, he's all about America, you know, bring, in fact, and in fact, I spoke with a gentleman today who said that the Amish people, they've never voted before. But you know the Amish, they're going to vote this year. The Amish are going to vote because of what Trump did for them. Apparently, uh, what does the Amish, Amish make? The Amish makes what? The Amish people? Yeah. They're very subsistent economy. But apparently, their business, their economic, their economy was threatened by imports from China. And because of the policy that Donald Trump did, in a sense, it was it started to restore their economy. They're saying what that, policy is that? I mean, I, I was speaking with a sociologist from Colombia today, and he talked about the Amish people, very connected with what's going on in society and with the Amish. And he, and apparently, we, we had a conversation. We could not have recorded it because of issues. I mean, it's very, I mean, because of his position. But um, he in, indicated that the Amish people have instructed them, the, the Amish leaders have instructed the Amish people to vote for Trump. They don't usually vote, they don't get involved in elections, but this year they will because because of what he did. And the last time when he was in power, he signed a policy to protect the Amish businesses. They don't see, but the point I'm making is that, yeah, it's it's a very important, people must look at the broader picture. It's very important to protect American businesses. But please remember that, um, and they see Trump as doing that, and Biden as selling out America. And um, do, do, what about people who say that? How do you speak to that? What policies has Biden, what has Biden done to protect American interests and American jobs and so on and so forth? They hear him sending money to Ukraine, but they don't look at things in the totality of all things. Okay? The U.S. can't just be insulated in the 21st century. We live in a global world. Okay? Yes? Yeah. We live in a global world. If the U.S. is going to take it's going to, and first of all, it, the U.S. created WTO, trading rules, yes? Mm -hmm. But they are going to defy the very same rules that they have implemented, that they have created, okay? And limit, limit trade between countries. Right, Ricardo? Right now, they're going to limit trade between countries. But yeah. that's being hypocritical. Americans, they don't care about that, about the hypocrisy of international government. Do they? And how it's okay for other countries to trade with them, but other countries, but they're not going to trade with other countries. So it's okay for them to trade with other countries. Okay. But in terms of to be an 11 playing field, they have to ensure that the U.S. shouldn't invest. We, we, um, the glo globalization is against, and capitalism, but it's against um, tariffs, yes? We talk about global trade and free trade, but Donald Trump seems to be against global trade, but at the same time, he is not. <laughs> you know? You know, it's quite interesting. Um, because he's talking about protecting American businesses, but writing policies that increase tariffs 
that affects international can affect us here as well. Because what? What's going to happen? Other countries overseas can retaliate by increasing tariffs. Yes, putting tariffs. Thank you for making it the Neoliberal Realm podcast. And I want to take the opportunity to summarize the the findings of our research, our poll. Um, we, we actually interviewed over 25 people. Um, so we only broadcast or provided you with 10 or 15 individuals um, for the show. The, the other persons we spoke with I asked that we do not carry them on the on the program, but provided us with their responses. And we, we appreciate those who publicly um, uh, acquiesced to to our random um, impositions or propositions, and um, and they took up. So we just want we thank all those persons who participated in this study, and, um, both in Philadelphia and here in New York. I, I mean, sorry, in Philadelphia. I'm in Philadelphia right now, but we did it in New York a, a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago, or three weeks ago, and um, we published the Philadelphia leg um, two weeks ago, and um, and we are and so and it's about time that we did this one, but. We have some findings for you based on, just to summarize, all that we have, all of the responses. Um, and we just want to summarize the, provide the, the findings and provide you with some, some general um, points that we, that we garnered from the interviews that we did and the research that we conducted. Um, of course, the Neoliberal Corporation, we are a think tank. The Neoliberal Round YouTube channel and podcast um, is part of the Neoliberal Corporation and part of our, and we are a think tank and digital media company publishing and we are we and a research company and so much of our and so the show that we put that, that we did is driven by research and academic rigor but we just want to provide a summary um, of our findings one what we found um, was that based on the interviews that we did um, and that we conducted in New York, we found that many people are Demo- many people who were Democrats, many people who were Democrats who say that they were Democrats, say that they are voting for Trump. That's that's quite interesting. But no one who said who we spoke, to, who said that they were said that they were Republicans, said that they are voting for Biden, which is quite interesting. That's in New York. We spoke to Democrats who said that they're voting for Trump. Oh, okay, but and and we not that we didn't speak not that we didn't speak with any any Democrats who said that they were going to support for Biden. But it was quite interesting that we spoke with many Democrats who are who were voting for Trump. But no one who we spoke to who said that they were Republican said that they're going to vote for Biden. Quite interesting. Uh, the second thing is that. Five years ago, when or in, two, in 2016, four years ago, in 2016, four to five years ago, which is 2016, when Trump ran against Biden, um, many New Yorkers who may have been supporting or voting for Trump, I mean, su- um, supporting Trump, voting for or supporting Trump, even if they were far and in between they would not publicly say that they are voting for or support voting for or supporting donald trump today that's different i mean it's different and of course you see this in the interview that we did i mean you hear what the people responses you see their responses publicly um today um this year this election is going to be seems to be different as many we spoke to were willing to public in New York, New Yorkers were willing to publicly say that they were supporting and voting for Trump. The third thing is that we found that many black and brown people who were college educated um, or and financially stable, a little and Caribbean probably West Indian, charismatic, who are charismatic and of the protestant pedigree, they seem to be supporting Biden. The fourth thing is that those people, 
which is comparative, which is a compare, which we, okay, the next thing is that those who are not college educated or who didn't have a college or weren't as, or weren't as educated, we say based on what society determines who are educated, we talk about people with masters, especially those with masters degree, degrees and very, um, very educated or college educated or those who are, and people who aren't as financially well off or stable that we spoke to, they seem to be supporting Trump quite interesting which was the same thing that we found the same thing in philadelphia um the very same thing in philadelphia but what we found is that the younger people in philadelphia who said that they're voting for trump the young men who are not college educated and not as financially stable or well off what we found that they are supporting trump i mean they are they support trump but they're not voting new york the young men we spoke, the African American men we spoke with, we found the same thing. We found the same thing. But the older men, African American men, are supporting, seem to be supporting Trump. And these aren't church going men necessarily. But it's quite interesting. The next thing is that some people are still undecided, while others are not voting for either Trump or Biden. Now, in Philly, a lot of black and brown women are voting for Biden. We found that a lot of black and brown women are voting for Biden. Not so in New York. In NYC, we found that black and brown women who are Democrats are either not voting or either not voting or supporting either Biden or Trump. But we found many women who were also voting for Trump. Now, that sounds a bit convoluted, so I need to tidy that up. Because I did find some women, because we spoke with a Latino gentleman who said that he's voting for Trump. And many people, there were, we had many onlookers who were frowning at him. Well, a few were, and, and, and one African-American older woman was upset and she, obviously she's voting for Biden. Well, I mean, that's, a, that's an anecdotal, in, uh, uh, that's from an anecdotal evidence. but. But, so you may find some women, yes, who are voting for, who are still voting for Biden, hardcore MSNBC, protestant, charismatic, um, Caribbean, or those women who are voting for Biden. But we found a lot of Latino women or brown women who are voting for Trump. Um, we found that, well, we found in NYC is that black and brown women who are Democrats, we found many of them are either not voting um, for Democrats, you know. I mean, well, again, we found that, well, this is what we found is that black and brown women who are Democrats are either not voting or supporting Biden. They're not voting for Biden. Um, and of course, we also found many who were voting for Biden. And we found Democrats we're voting, and we said this earlier, so please, this is on the backdrop of what we, what we have said earlier, when we said that many black and brown people, um, we found, oh, sorry, um, we made the point that many black and brown people who are not college educated or financially well off, we spoke with are supporting Trump, people, or, and we so we made that point. And we said that many black and brown people who are educated or or um, Caribbean or financially well off, they are supporting Biden. Many of these women however, some of, some of the women are who are Democrats are either not voting or supporting Biden. I mean or are not supporting Biden. Um, but we found many who were also voting for Trump. 
Um, now, Latino women especially, men and women we spoke to, were are supporting Trump. I think majority of the Latino women we spoke with seem to be supporting Trump. Um, one white American we spoke with, who was a Democrat, was voting for Biden. And um, anyway, but it's quite interesting. Uh, we'll continue to do conduct our research. We're going to do part um, as we draw closer to the election. We we will take to the streets and do more and update our finding. Um, what are people saying? Um, next month, um, as we draw closer to the election, has um, so we'll see what what we'll take to the streets and we we'll provide the findings for you. Please um, continue to subscribe to the show, donate to us by going to anchor.fm slash the liberal slash support. You can go to our YouTube feed as well, and sorry, you can go to the and um, and go to our support page. Um, by clicking on support um, you can subscribe for free on any platform um, we're available on over th in th 36 countries over 12 platforms um, subscribe on our youtube channel we are growing we we are and we are hoping to do to, to expand and to we're planning to do a caribbean tour coming up this this summer i will be going to jamaica in may so i'm looking forward to that um, so please continue to support us. Invest in the programming. Invest in our research. You can go to we and you can go to anchor.fm slash liberal slash support. And please subscribe and share this programming with your friends. I'm Ronaldo McKenzie of the Neoliberal Corporation. And please remember, we're all about serving the world today to solve tomorrow's challenges by making popular our human life. Well, good. <laughs>